Hey everybody, it's time for RV build update number one. But first, I need to give a huge shout out to my oldest niece, Megan. She just finished all of her flight training. It's time for her to become an instructor and do the time building thing on her path towards an airline career. I couldn't be happier. She's been flying with me since she was a little girl. And I even got to be her very first customer as a flight instructor when she flew down a few weeks ago and did my uh, biannual flight review. So the good news is we have another one that wants to get her pilot's license as well. And she tagged along when we flew Megan back to Tulsa to show her Spartans flight school. And now she's really excited about that. And of course, I was excited to see the two of them palling around, looking at airplanes and talking about airplanes. It just made me really happy. We'll see what the future holds, and uh, I can't do anything more than wish Megan the best. So it turns out I wasn't telling a lie. I actually started building my RV-8. So I'm going to give you my first update. Uh, not a whole ton of stuff has gotten done because I just have to work in a routine of getting out here and doing this with all the other things that I normally do on a weekly basis. Uh, plus I had the dog last week, so um, a lot of attention being diverted to other things, but so far I'm really happy with this kit and everything that's going together so nicely because of the way that they designed it. So I have the horizontal stabilizer rear spar in progress here. I was able to get all the metal I needed ground off of these and edges smooth. I've got everything drilled up here, ready to be disassembled, deburred. And the only thing I'm lacking is um, a little bit more cleaned up here and there, but the two brackets in the middle that hold this little bearing. So this is my first inventory mess up so far. When we inventory this bag, there's a quantity on there. and we just counted the parts that were in there and didn't really take them out and verify each one of them had the right sticker on them. So I got two of these APP brackets and I need a BPP, which has holes that match this. So it's no big deal. I ordered it on a Sunday night and van shipped it two days later and it was like seven bucks plus shipping. So I cannot complain about that. Um, but as far as a build goes, nothing that I've never seen before or haven't done in my line of work, which I work on airplanes for a living. So uh, right now I've got this thing here waiting for those to come. And I started pulling the parts out for the horizontal stabilizer forward spar. And uh, I've already studied the, inst the instructions. I know everything that I need to do on it. Simple, just tedious, like I said before. And um, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. So I will uh, tell you one little funny thing I noticed so far on the plans is this one step tells you to pick up these holes to number 21s for this rib right here. And it tells you to go eight holes in from the end of the strap on all four ends here. But on this isometric uh, view here, it actually shows it on the ninth hole and this first bracket in the very next hole. And that's not right, but the rear view shows it correctly where you have the number 21 holes and then a space in the air tube. So wasn't a problem, didn't hang me up, didn't waste any time on it, just uh, drilled the holes where they're supposed to be and moved on. So whenever I get this piece here, then I'll be able to wrap this up and I will waste time because I didn't want to prime the parts just because I don't think I need it. And, you know, there's just so much stuff that's already happening, not even from me, but just makes me want to do it. Like, for example, as well as everything's packed, there's these scuff marks all the way down these channels, both of them. And I know I got to clean that up. And once I do, I know I'm going to want to prime it. And then I'm going to be a little aggravated because uh i know 51 isn't that old but man yeah i feel like i'm in a hurry to get this thing done i got i got things to do places to go and uh, people not to see while i'm gone so uh that's where i'm at with that right now i'll tell you the kit is awesome i love it the plans really really good it just seems like a big fun project that pretty much 
most people should be able to figure out how to do. I mean, there's a reason there's 11,000 of these things already flying. So a couple other little updates here. Um, I'm going to go back through all this hardware and make sure that I have everything that I need. Um, anything that I took for granted with quantities, I'm just going to pull them out and check. Uh, I've got some organizers today to you know, organize this stuff and just make my life easier. I have all my empanage parts, uh, minus the skins, laid up here on this shelf. So I can find it all nice and easy. Doesn't look like a lot of stuff, but that does. I'm not sure exactly where this comes into play yet, but whatever. It's nothing but a thing. And uh, besides that, I just have um, to figure out how I want to do my workbench here. I bought a bandsaw today. And I got bolts to bolt everything down. I just got to figure out where I want it all. And uh, I'll waste more time on that than I will this, trying to figure out problems with the plans or parts or whatever. So, so I've been going around and visiting other people and seeing their RVs when I can. I got some more people on my list. Got a lot more Clecos to order. I can already tell I'm getting kind of low from the recommended brown or Cleveland tool suggested amount if I'm gonna do both of these at the same time. So yeah, everybody's right. Order a lot more Clecos. So these parts will have a lot of uh, metal to remove off of. That'll be fun. And I think they get bent. This gets bent. Then uh, I bought the bandsaw because this is the first thing I have to you know, split in two and I didn't want to use a cutoff wheel. So, you know, like any good RV builder, I'm just going to keep buying tools and buying tools and buying tools. I'll move to the next step and then buy even more tools and yeah, we'll see what happens. And then of course, don't worry, once I get done building this thing, which I'm mildly confident that I will, I am not selling my tools to anybody, just like everybody else doesn't. But I am uh, probably going to change my mind because I'm a nice guy and I don't want that stuff here. I want to be in the plane traveling. So I'm going to keep making these ridiculous videos that uh, I can't stand editing because I can't stand to hear myself talking in them. And I definitely can't stand to be in them. So, uh, But it'll be a motivation tool to help me progress so that you know i can keep putting these out every few weeks my friends and family will at least watch and really that's all i'm really worried about you'll see i have everything marked so i know exactly where i want it to go after i take it apart and deburr everything after i do some family stuff do some friend visiting on sunday and of course, working overtime to help pay for this thing both days this weekend. Um, I'm thinking Monday I'll be able to get in here and make some good progress. So, all right. Hope everybody else's build is going good if you found this and uh, you actually watched it and were bored to death. That'll teach you. So, take it easy. We'll talk to you next time.